Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming my second art supplies haul video. I filmed my first one a few weeks ago and you guys seem to really like it so that's why I'm filming another one. To be honest I didn't really know if you guys would like the videos or not just because I've never done one and I haven't really seen many other people do art supply haul videos so I thought you know what it's something a little bit different. Today's art supplies are both from Spotlight and Officeworks so they're not specific art stores they're just other stores here in Australia. Okay so firstly I got some new paint and not just any paint but glitter paint. This is just basically gold glitter in paint form so you can see how shiny it is there. I got this one from Spotlight and they had the gold and silver. Um, I just went with the gold to try it out and I think it is awesome. If you guys saw my paintings from my third year in university you would have seen that I like to use glitter in my paintings um, and I probably should have used something like this because the method I did it was much more difficult. I actually bought glitter and then I painted down some acrylic paint and then quickly poured the glitter on top of the painting and kind of pressed it down and it doesn't really stick on that well like if I brush it it will come off so I think this is a much better uh, alternative. If you're wondering this one is by the company Deriven? D-E-R-I-V-A-N, I'm not sure how you say that. Um, and it says acrylic paint art craft, non-toxic water-based acrylic paint made in Australia. After buying the gold paint from Spotlight, um, I went into Officeworks and realised that they had a huge selection of glitter paints. So I got these ones here. Um, these ones are by the company J Burrows and I got the colours Candy Apple Glitter, Bubblegum Glitter, as well as Onyx Black Glitter. And this one has little specks of red, pink and green in it, so it's very pretty. Um, and I'm really excited to start using these as well. Um, they had really big tubes as well. I only got the small ones because I hadn't tried them yet and I was like, look, I just want to see what they're like. Um, before I go and get like all of them and the big ones. So maybe I'll do a video about these. I don't know. If you guys want one, let me know. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm out of breath. I, I worked today and then I got home. I was really hungry, had lunch. And now I'm trying to film this video quickly before Kieran gets back. And it's also really hot today and I had to turn the aircon off so you guys don't hear an annoying sound. So uh, I just feel like I'm just out of breath. Um, and there goes my phone. Anyway, and then going back to Spotlight, I got some supplies to create my Peerless watercolour palette. If you haven't seen that video, I uploaded it a couple of weeks ago at somewhere on my channel. Um, so for that one, I had to get some washi tape. Now, I've never used washi tape before, and it was recommended to make the palette, so I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna try it. It's just like pretty tape. Um, so yeah, I used the nice zigzaggy one on my watercolour palette. Um, but I'm sure I will think of ways to use this. And of course I got the pink one. And then I also got some glue tape which is on like a little roll inside and then you just press it down and the glue comes off. So it's easy to glue things. Like for my Peerless watercolour palette, I used it to stick the pieces of watercolour onto the paper. So that was really good. I got some canvas panels from Spotlight. I got these two different sizes. The first one is, doesn't even say, um, it says canvas panel, 100% cotton, 280gm weight, triple primed with acrylic gesso, quality board, durable and long lasting, acid free and archival safe. Want to create this piece of art yourself, blah 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 blah. Okay so I finally found where it had the dimensions, it's on the little barcode here. It's, this one is 12 by 16 and it is by the company renoir.com.au so um, we'll see how that goes. I personally I prefer to paint on a canvas board as you can see it's like it's hard unlike a stretched canvas which is on a frame and if you've ever painted on one of those before you'll know it kind of has a little bit of give to it whereas with a canvas board it feels like you're painting on something hard which you pretty much are so yeah there's that one. I also got another panel by the same company and this one is 14 by 18 so it's the same thing just bigger. I also got a watercolour canvas panel from Spotlight which 
I've never actually heard of watercolour panels before, so personally I got this one because of the dimensions. I liked the format of it. This one is 12 by 18. So I'm not sure if I'm going to actually use watercolour on this one, but I guess we'll wait and see. And the sun just went away, so now I look nice and blue. And lastly, I got this one from Officeworks, and it is a Derwent Academy Artist watercolour pad. So it's basically just sheets of watercolour paper. This one is A3 and it is 300 GSM. I bought this one for my Peerless watercolour palette because I wanted watercolour paper to be the backing for it and I couldn't find individual sheets anywhere so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to get the pad um, and obviously I can just do more watercolour paintings with the watercolour paper. So that is all from me today, I hope you guys are having a fantastic week and if you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time, bye!